Hey everybody, welcome to the channel and to today's week ahead love reading for anyone who is a on a twin flame or deep soulmate journey and you have this incredible energetic connection to somebody which you are trying to work out. We have got a energy check-in for the overall energy for the week ahead and then we will be reading the Divine Feminine Energy in the first person. So I'll be reading for the Divine Feminine, then I'll be reading for the Divine masculine energy in the first person and then I will be reading for the connection for the week ahead which is the 6th to the 12th of October however these are timeless readings they will show up in your in feed for whenever you need to find them so sometimes the dates don't really matter it's about the next seven or so days overall for this reading we've got an energy of bless your past a useful tool to help us let go of any emotional residue is that is still clinging to us from past experiences is to bless your past. Whenever the memory of an event or person comes to mind, pause and say to yourself, I bless every aspect of my past and I celebrate the contribution that it gave me in becoming the person I am today. So the week ahead feels energetically, um, so this isn't about the relationship, just energetically, um, quite freeing, a, a letting go, a releasing um, or energies of um, being at peace with the past and therefore not having any um, restricting restricting energy clinging on to you. Solar plexus, a strong sense of self and money. Okay, blessing your past. Maybe there was an issue in the past about money, but the week ahead it also has an energy of money. So it has an energy of being very clear about who you are. It has an energy of money. So there might be money coming to you in the week ahead. We're not going to focus on money because it's a relationship reading, but that is definitely an energy that's coming through. Or you've got a third eye vision here about how money could flow more for you or um, ideas that would help you in the material world. OK, so blessing your past and money and your strong sense of self. Those are the energies for today. Uh, actually, I'm going to start with these. Those are the masculine energy. OK, so I'm going to start with the feminine energy and the week ahead. So what is the main Energy coming through, seven of wands, self-expression. Okay, so if you are a divine feminine, I'm now reading for you. Okay, seven of wands is your main energy. It is very much an energy of self-expression, being courageous, being very clear about your sense of self and being able to stand up for yourself with that sense of self. So a lot of courage, a little bit of protection. So some boundaries are up, maybe against people who don't believe in who you or what you are or what you want to do, um, but being very strong and certain in who you are. We have got an energy of a spider's web. The spider's web um, does indicate coming to the center of your truth and the center of your energy and feeling the energetic vibration. So spiders are very sensitive. They don't chase. They allow what is meant for them to come to them. And we have got here this symbol, which for me indicates a, a like an artist's palette that is empty. It's ready to, to paint your own story, to color your life with the pictures and the paints and the colors that are really important to you. So strong energy. The tower in the material world, we've got the tower and we've got a rebirth card in this. So these are the material energies, the emotional energies and the spiritual energies that are around this self-expression. And this is the ego, like the mind energy, and this is the soul energy, like your spiritual energy. So spiritually, we've got a, a rebirth, a change in the material world that is being brought about through your spiritual energy. And we have got a tower happening in the material world again. So sudden and unexpected changes on the outside of you. So internally, you're feeling ready for something new or you're, there's a rebirth energy in your self-expression on the external world, something sudden and unexpected is going to happen. Emotionally, we've got the two of cups at the emotional level and we've got the lover of so my goodness. <laughs> okay. All right. Emotionally, you could be ready for new love. You could be ready to connect to somebody very important to you on your so this is the in the internal energy of self-expression inside you're ready for relationships that will bring you incredible choices externally in your external world there is a substantial chance that a twin flame soulmate energy is going to be approaching you somebody that you emotionally feel very very um connected to so for the week ahead that's incredible 
your emotional energy is in alignment with love. Your sense of self is strong. You're prepared to defend and have boundaries about who you are. Your courage to be yourself is is intense, um, insanely strong. And emotionally, it feels like you're very much ready to either call in somebody who's very important to you or be very certain of who you are if you're in an existing relationship. And that is going to strengthen the relationship. Okay, spiritually, there is the three of wands and the, the shadow side. That's the ego, the shadow side. Spiritually, I'm going to get some clarifiers for those. On a spiritual level, your external world, you're really looking at, again, self-expression. The seven of wands and the three of wands are about expansion. They're about self-expression. They're about growth. So in your material world, you are growing spiritually. In your inner world, oh, okay, you're just basically in your inner world, you're 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 shedding your ego, you're shedding your fears of, and your addictions of not, you know, not being true to yourself, that we can become, become addicted to fear and we can become addicted to um, almost like holding love away because of our fears. The Ten of Swords, I say in reverse, you're letting go of the fear of making excuses for not having love, like letting go of the of sadness as well and letting go of any pain. So your your spiritual self is um, free, freeing itself, freeing itself from pain and sorrow. Wow, that's incredibly strong. All right, self-expression, ready emotionally for some kind of quite deep connection. Blessing the past, here we go, right, that's it. Look, that's it. This is what this is. The shadow side and the ten of swords is blessing your past. It is releasing fear and restriction because of sadness that has happened to you before. Wow. Okay, for some of you, feminine energy, you are ready and open for love or ready and open for deeper love. That one is sitting there. Stillness. Maybe in the stillness inside you find you found in the stillness. I'll put that one back. Leadership. You're ready for a leadership role or you are, look how tall and cloud this dragon is. It's, 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 there's a almost like a phoenix type energy to this. Rising into a leadership position this week. And structure, putting some kind of structure around what is important to you. Leading your life in a way that's structured and, and, and right, maybe some structure around money, your sense of self, how you choose to earn a living. Things will perhaps fall into place. Maybe some of you are writing a, a life planner. You know, what's my here with the horizons? What's my next three to five years of growth in my external world going to be? Well, how, how am I going to lead my life in a way, in a structured way that is right for me to express myself in the right way? I know when my body needs to rest. Okay, so for the week ahead, you're going to be looking after yourself when you feel you need to. And I'm calm and safe in the midst of chaos. Yeah, that self-expression, that growth. Okay, something unexpected is in energetically showing up as a as a you know a real possibility. It's there if you want it, if it feels right for you. If it doesn't feel right for you, your energy will hold us away here with the seven of wands. So if it doesn't feel right for you to want a romantic relationship or deepening a connection or calling in a connection and you're feeling no I'm not ready, then your energy will just hold it away until you are ready. So you won't have these sudden and unexpected changes. But if you're feeling that you're ready, then <laughs> something's going to come in with a tower moment that's just going to like rock your world and you're just going to be calm in the middle of that because you've got this um rebirth of energy of connection to your sense of self and your spiritual self coffee somebody wants to have a coffee there's a coffee bean somebody wants to have a coffee with you and angelic there's something very guided okay i'm very uplifting all right i love this Believe. Look at the spider's web. Believe. 
if you want this, believe it's going to happen. And victory. It's going to be very successful. Okay. Claiming victory over your beliefs. There's a there's a there's a very positive week ahead for you. If you want it. Okay. Again, self seven of ones. You'll know. Like we, we can hunger for connection, but we kind of know we're not ready for it. Um and then when it doesn't come, we're disappointed. But yeah, internally, we know we're not ready for it. So we do energetically hold away something that's not ready for us. But it feels here that you're sitting right in the seat of what's right for you, um, looking out at all the possibilities and going, yeah, you know what? <laughs> I'm uh, I'm feeling pretty courageous. I'm ready to uh, be self-expressive. I understand how to have my own boundaries. I understand how to protect myself. I understand how to... Um, you know, choose me, choose my own growth and expansion, but there in there, there's room for somebody else because I've been letting go of my fears. I've been letting go and blessing the past. So the sadness is not showing up anymore unless I allow my like my little, you know, ego fear energy to um get in the way of what I know is actually true to be for me. So when the past pain sadness comes in you're very much more able to release it if it is coming in for you. Okay. Look after your body. <laughs> Just stay calm no matter what comes in. <laughs> and what is coming in could well be, look at that, the two of cups and the lovers. They are like the most romantic cards in the deck other than the ten of cups. Um, so feminine divine feminine energy and somebody did ask me the difference between divine feminine and divine masculine i think um it would be helpful perhaps to google if you're slightly unsure um what it feels like it means to you because we both have we have masculine and feminine energy inside of us but when you're in relationship with somebody no matter what gender you are even if you're in just a partnership and it's like it doesn't have to be a romantic energy um one person is probably naturally more of a leader and on the external world and getting things done and one person is naturally more of a um an, a sort of intuitive um uh compassionate energy and uh and that kind of distinguishes those two types of energies um yeah okay right this is for the divine masculine. So again, I'm going to read it for you. If you're a masculine energy, you rec um, identify with being a more masculine energy person, then um, this is your, sorry, more masculine energy person in a relationship. This is for you. So your main energy is the page of wands. Interesting, curious, enthusiastic, very creative, fun. This is a fun energy for you to be in. I love that. Okay, in the material world, we have got the Three of Swords, but it's in reverse. I don't tend to read reversals, but that's a very important card to read in reversal. It goes on, which is letting go. It's moving on. It's time to heal. It's time to heal your relationship with having fun in life. And we've got the King of Cups. I'm not going to read that upside down. That one just needs like it does. I don't normally, unless it really feels like it needs to. Whoa, we've got the Empress and we've got the Star. Oh, wow. Okay, and we have got the Ten of Cups. Oh my goodness. And we got the Page of Cups. Okay, masculine energy feels like, um, again, a lot shifting, a lot very fun and happy. You know, if there's a Three of Swords and then you're in separation from somebody, then you're feeling that separation. You're feeling the heartache. You're feeling the loss. If you're um, not in separation, you're um, blessing your past and you're um, ready to move on it's time to heal it's time to heal something time maybe time to heal a connection or you're just feeling the loss of a connection okay so here we have at a spiritual level so internally your internal energy um on the material level you're feeling very imbalanced you're feeling very creative you're also feeling very um mature emotionally like you're in tune with your feelings you're in tune with what you love and you might be feeling like you want love um because here emotionally we've got the ten of cups which is the card of um you know, really wanting love, um, love, harmony, divine connections. And the divine connection you seem to be wanting to seek is the empress who is the divine feminine energy. So perhaps you are saying, oh, you know what, actually, I'm really ready for love I'm, I'm, or I'm ready to deepen this connection. I'm dead, re very much ready to have fun exploring what it is emotionally that I feel very drawn to here with a star. You're being guided towards 
something maybe you are actually wanting to be a guiding light and you want somebody to support you um with a page of cups energy here you're feeling very sensitive you may be feeling a little bit you know not to say naive but just like kind of oh, like a little bit um uh unsure but here two pages you also want to send messages pages are messages okay and we have got a parrot which is a message of love and we've got another star Okay, masculine energy feels very tuned in to the divine feminine, really wanting a divine connection, love, harmony, balance, feeling the pain of separation, but ready to move towards something that is um, fun, happy, and um, very emotionally mature. Okay, very grounding, grounding into uh, grounding into the material world, the feelings of love that are flowing. And not being afraid of them and not being afraid of um, approaching. I'm just going to adjust the light here. Sorry, I want to slightly over on this. There we, there we go. It will probably change dramatically when I take the cards off the table or I put some darker cards on. There's a bit of contrast going on in here. But yeah, you're you're feeling the need for contrast in your life. You're feeling the need for light, light, light heartedness. Okay, lovely. And we've got seek knowledge. Okay. And community all right you are energetically there are all these butterflies wanting to find people who have that light-hearted energy who have a feeling of flow a feeling of high vibration you're being very drawn and attracted to the feeling of lightness to the feeling of happiness to the feeling here with two pages of um getting away from the seriousness of life and, and following your guidance, following your hope, following your faith, following your spiritual desires where they feel good. So you're following what feels good and you're being guided towards something, some kind of faith in or knowledge in um, perhaps your spiritual energy you're, you're, you're looking to find or just why it is that you feel so happy and vibrant around certain people, particularly here, this di divine feminine energy or you're seeking a divine feminine who makes you feel really, really good. And that you can have fun with and play. Just have, yeah, just have great times with it. Feel very emotionally mature, mature around. You don't want the separation and heartache anymore. As I rest in the sacred womb, I heal. Yeah, I can just imagine you like physically um, embracing, embodying, being very close to a a feminine energy, an empress energy, for example, where you feel um, very emotionally safe. And I let go of limiting thoughts that are holding me back. Okay, perhaps you are, if you're wanting to approach somebody here, it's like the ten of cups. It is this kind of like little head rising above the parapet, saying, so, you know, hi, hey, empress energy, would you would you like to connect with me? Um, you are perhaps feeling that you're not good enough, but have faith, have hope, follow your interest, intuition. Know that you are know that you're held, and um, it will be okay. It will all be okay. But the limiting beliefs of not being feeling that you might be good enough, but yeah, trust the energy, trust the connection, trust the feelings, trust the tree dreams, trust trust the energy. Okay. Peace, yeah, flowing towards peace. Trust. When something feels peaceful, it's because it is meant to be that the energy works when things are at peace. Where do you feel at home and disguise? <laughs> Maybe you uh, here with the let go of the limiting beliefs that are holding me back. Perhaps you just have to let go of the disguises. Um, the spiral with the life force and the chameleon is you, you've had to put on, you know, many masks, many where many external uh, energies. However, where you feel at peace is where you do not have to feel that you need to disguise yourself. You feel totally and utterly able to be yourself. Maybe you feel some of your limiting beliefs right, might be about money, but when you're with the right person, your abundance will grow like tenfold because... You, you'll feel supported, enabled and guided to allow your life force, your chi to flow in the way that's right for you. Okay, I love this. All right, so 
the divine feminine energy. So the divine masculine is in the page of wands and the divine feminine, where have you gone? Is in the seven of wands. Okay, so wands energy, which is life force and chi and flowing and um, very emotionally available. Both of you are very emotionally available, very emotionally available to love at that emotional level. Actually, I just want to bring that back in just so we can understand this, because at an emotional level, this is incredibly strong. At an emotional level, we have the Ten of Cups, we have the Empress, and we have the Two of Cups, we have the Lovers. Okay? Very um, strong emotional connection to self going on in the masculine and feminine energies here. Even though the, the feminine energy might be a little bit protective and the masculine energy might be... Um, feeling a little bit, um, what's the right word? Uh, naive isn't the right word, it, it, like yeah, um, uncertain, a little bit uncertain. Um, at an emotional level, there's huge emotional uh, feelings and pull and attraction going on in here. All right, let us now look at the energy of the connection itself. Taking time out. Okay, you might be in separation, or you might want to take time out together, actually. Give yourself permission to stop, all right. Sometimes we need to slow down and rest up, and yet so often we keep pushing and pushing, even though there are clear signs that we should stop, taking time out now will allow you, allow you to replenish your energy and return revitalized with an abundance of focused energy. Okay, five, five, sudden and unexpected change. It really feels perhaps take time out together if you need to, or just taking time out to consider what this relationship is all about, where if you are focused on other things. With the coffee, it could well be taking time out together. Oh, flowers. Be generous, succeed, and emotional fulfillment are yours. Look how the um look how the two the pink flowers here. I think mean, they're different varieties of flowers, but there's a real similarity here. Pink is about heart-centered relationships. And abundance. Lucky times are ahead of you, along with good news, success, and prosperity. Okay. This is a week of perhaps there's an inflow of money, or again, just a just a certainty about how things might take a step change in the future. Um, you might be feeling as a relationship energy. You might be. I'm getting a, actually a, a scent coming through. You might. You might be feeling just like celebrating something. Walking in a garden, spending time. However, there is a there's a there's eleven. It could look at that one one and one and five five. There's something very divinely guided going on in here. Okay, maybe one of one of one of the connection is coming in with flowers and an offer of some kind of um yeah abundance or coming in and saying hey I've just got a pay rise I've just got a promotion let's go out let's take time out together here's some flowers. The miracle of forgiveness. Thank you, Jimmy, for giving, helping me understand the process of forgiveness, blessing your past, and transformation. Thank you, Zach Dale, for supporting me to transform from my past challenges. Okay, in the connection, some kind of forgiveness, transformation, taking time out to talk to each other about... Um, Something that hasn't quite in the way that was hoped for. This is a masculine energy going on in here. And we'll get a feminine energy again about this connection. So, masculine energy we have got with the connection. We have got the Four of Swords, the Nine. No, five, six of wands and the high priestess. Okay, great. And the feminine energy, the four of swords as well. Wow. The queen of cups and the page of wands. <laughs> and that's, wow. Okay, talk about mirroring. All right, this is lovely. The um, masculine energy with regards to the connection, 
has discovered self-love and the feminine energy has discovered self-love. That's really healthy. That means that both um, both parties are understanding themselves in an incredibly good way. And we've also got the potential that both of them are in solitude. So this could be where you are in separation or you are just taking some time out from each other or it's time to take time out and spend time together. Um, here with the six of wands, the masculine energy is, there's a victory over their intuition about this connection with the high priestess. There's a there's a realization. There's a there's an accomplishment. There's a success where they are understanding their emotional attachment. They're understanding their intuition. They're understanding their divine emin, feminine energy inside of themselves because they are starting to really see and understand the depth of this connection and what it means to them. And here with the feminine energy, we've got the four of swords, which again is self love, recovering from past. Both energies are recovered from past issues, not necessarily with each other, like things in the past that have been a problem, not least finding the sense of self. And here we've now got the Queen of Cups who's heal, healed, feeling compassionate, feeling able to understand themselves. And with the Page of Wands, also very curious about what life has to hold and very enthusiastic. So we've got lovely mirroring going on in here. There's a lot of energy that's aligning with this connection. There's a lot of matching going on. There's a lot of um, opportunity for um, taking time out together, which is fantastic. Okay. Charms around the connection. We've got moon and stars. Okay, so something's coming into alignment, planetary alignment. And we've got, yeah, an apple, fruit, a <laughs> red apple, ready to be grounded, ready to, is, there's something coming to fruition with this relationship, with this connection. Higher self, very connected to higher self, here with the high priestess and daydreams. Your higher self might be, you might be feeling and experiencing dreams or energetic hits about each other. Um, and um, it's very likely that you both have that going on. If you're in separation or even if you're just, you know, close but going about your day, but you're feeling feeling a change. What's the right word? Feeling just more tuned in to each other than normal. Um, know that that is happening. You know, both higher selves here. There's a purpose. There's a purpose that your higher selves are initiating, which is bringing you dreams, daydreams, aligning. Okay, I'm going to uh, just ask now, what does the divine feminine want to say to the divine masculine? Oh, gosh. Three coming out. Okay, that was a lot. I wasn't expecting more than one, but I'm going to take them. Regret. I'm ashamed and embarrassed. My intention was not to hurt you. Daydreams again. Wow. I often fantasize about you. I daydream about you every day. And message of love. I'm thinking about you, my love, even though you think I am not. Okay, so that is from the divine feminine to the divine masculine. And from the divine masculine goodness, to the divine feminine. The cards are jumping. There's a lot of energy kind of like wanting to fly out. Okay, from the divine masculine to the divine feminine. Need you. You're so nurturing, magnetic, passionate queen in my life. Okay, so the divine masculine needs the divine feminine. Afraid. Um, when you're not with me, I feel afraid. I'm afraid to let you down. And love. I want to make love to you, which I've no, in a way which I've never experienced before, or I've never experienced like love like this with you before. Okay, wow. This is absolutely beautiful. There's a lot of alignment going on in this connection. And if you're not with this person, then um, the week ahead could very well bring that time together. I mean, there's so much alignment. And if not, then you'll be feeling it. You'll be sensing it um, with, within each other. The daydreams may be getting stronger and stronger. OK, I'm just going to finish off with any advice from your guardian angels here. Grace, 
where we when we sit in relationship with grace we see every situation through the eyes of love fostering our desire to meet life with understanding compassion and kindness this card asks you to view your situation with grace will understanding bring compassion how would love view your possible choices what would kindness suggest you do okay and let go gracefully bless your past and let go gracefully something so i do actually feel this is a divine feminine this is a message from i was going to say that and then i didn't but now i will this is a message for the divine feminine from their guardian angel and this is for the divine masculine from their guardian angel let go gracefully something in your life is calling for you to let it go let go gracefully whatever's taken part, place in the past it's time to move forward and letting go will make way for the new whether this is a person, a situation, an outdated thought or behaviour pattern, this card comes to assure you that new horizons are waiting for you. Okay, absolutely beautiful. It feels that there is a substantial possibility that um, there are two souls here ready for alignment or ready for a next stage of a relationship. Some kind of forgiveness, some kind of transformation involved. Um, forgiveness itself is mo the most important thing, maybe an exchange of flowers, maybe an exchange of opportunities, maybe just a real feeling of just that, that joy of life of being together with two page of wands energies, which are just so happy about life. Um, page of wands can be about sending a message and we've got the page of wands here receiving a message, like an exchange of messages, an exchange of texts, taking time out to chat, to talk, to exchange. Okay. Emotional availability, absolutely at the heart and core of this reading. And um, lots of daydreams going on. Higher selves are definitely connecting. Okay, I'm going to leave it there. Take care. Bye.